God says, woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. That's most of the pastors here in America. Therefore, thus says the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, says the Lord. And this is the part I like. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. Oh, I'm part of the remnant of God's flock. I'm fruitful. I'm increasing by Jesus Christ. What about you? Are you the remnant of God's flock? Are you fruitful? Are you increasing? Or are you among those of God's flock who are scattered by the pastors? And God says, a woe is unto you as well as unto the pastors. God says he will set up shepherds over those remnant of his flock, which shall feed them and they shall fear no more nor be dismayed, nor shall they be lacking, says the Lord. Oh, that's me. That's me. I don't have to fear anything except God. I don't have to fear anything because God is my shepherd who said over me. I don't have to be dismayed. I don't have to be lacking. God says, behold, the days come. When God will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the land. Do you know who that king is? Oh, it's Jesus Christ. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called. I got to tell you, this is... I think this is one of my favorite names for Jesus Christ. The Lord, our righteousness. Is that what Jesus is unto you? The Lord, our righteousness. Because if not, you have no righteousness. You're headed for destruction. You're headed for an eternity in hell where God says the smoke of your torment will rise forever in the presence of Jesus Christ. But unto me he is the Lord, our righteousness. God says, therefore, behold, the days come. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, when they shall say no more, the Lord lives, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Why? Because they're going to say the Lord lives, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries where he has driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Oh, we see Israel in their own land today, don't we? Are these those days? God says then, though, he says, my heart, my heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I'm like a drunken man, says God. And like a man whose wine is overcome because of the Lord, because of the words of his holiness. This is what Jeremiah says. He's like a drunken man. He's, his bones shake because he has overcome, because the Lord and the word of his holiness. Have you been overcome by the Lord? By the word of his holiness? Praise God. Oh, then I exhort you that you would continue in faithfulness to Jesus Christ. All oh, that you would be overcome like Jeremiah was, broken because of the word of his holiness. See, America has not experienced this most of America. They do not understand the word of the Lord and the word of his holiness. They're not overcome by Jesus. the word of the Lord and the word of his holiness. But oh, America, that you might be overcome, that you might be like Jeremiah, and you might see that the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing, the land mourns. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up. 
Oh, in America, your course is evil. Your force is not right. For both prophet and priest and pastor are profane. God says in his house he has found wickedness, says the Lord. That's true of America. In the churches which are supposed to be the house of God, God says the pastors and the priests are profane. He has found wickedness in his house. That's what God says. Wherefore, your way, that's your way, every one of you, even you churchgoers, your way shall be unto you as a slippery ways in the darkness. You shall be driven on and fall therein. God says, for he will bring evil upon you, even the year of your visitation. America, you're not ready for the year of your visitation. God says he has seen folly in the prophets, the prophets who prophesy in Baal and cause Israel to err. Oh, that's what's happening in the churches. Most of the churches, they're prophesying not of Jesus Christ, but of a false Lord. Oh, no. No, just like this man, they exalt false love, not true love. Hugs is not true love. No, Baal is not true, he's false. And you serve a false god, a god you have made in your own image. And God says he has also seen in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. And this is what they do. The prophets, the priests, the pastors of America, for the most part, they strengthen the hands of wickedness. God says they commit adultery, they walk in lies, they strengthen the hands of evildoers that none returns from his wickedness. How many of you who go to church hear your pastor call you to turn from your wickedness? Oh, turn from your wicked way that God might heal you, that Jesus Christ might heal you. How many of you have turned or your hands strengthened so that you should not turn from your wickedness? Oh, if you go to a church, if you hear a pastor who strengthens your hand, that you should not turn from your wickedness, then go away from that because a woe is unto that pastor and you who follow after that pastor because God delivers his people from their sin. Jesus was called Jesus because he saves his people from their sin. He says, come unto me, turn from your sin, and I will heal you. Turn, and I will cleanse you. But God says that these pastors are all of them. In fact, all the people of this land are unto him as Sodom. And the inhabitants as Gomorrah. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood. America, don't you understand? God is going to feed these false pastors, these false prophets with wormwood. God says he is going to make them drink the water of gall, of poison. Why? For the prophets are sending out their profaneness. It's gone forth into all the land. Don't you hear it? They tell you you don't need to turn. All you need to do is just ask Jesus into your wicked, adulterous heart. No, Jesus says you need a new heart. He says, turn from your wickedness. Unless you repent, you will perish. Jesus says that your heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked and that he has to give you a new heart to rip out your heart of stone and to give you a new heart to put a spirit within you to give you a new spirit that's the work of Jesus Christ to turn you away from your sins to love the Lord your God with all your heart all your mind all your soul all your strength 